The Independent Marketers Association of Nigeria has attributed the constant upward jump in pump price of premium motor spirits in the country. This is the submission of the Ipman at the ongoing investigation into the continuous rise in the pump price of petrol in the country since the announcement of the removal of subsidy by President Bola Tinubu and his inaugural speech to the nation as soon as he was sworn in on 29th of May 2023. The increase has affected the prices of goods and services across all sectors, with many Nigerians forced to devise other ways of supporting themselves and their family. Petroleum is unarguably the lifeline of the Nigerian economy, and any increase in its price will undoubtedly result in ripple effect on price of goods and services, especially foodstuff. Statistics shows that Nigerians spend an average of 80% of their incomes in food alone. This is why we fear that this recent increase will further push Nigerians deeper below the poverty line. While responding to questions from members on the reasons for the constant price increase, Ipman blamed on the rising price of crude oil in the international market, subsidy, subsidy and the equalization fund removal as well as the constant fall in value of the Naira. Not only is the issue of increasing the price, presently we have a very huge amount of money under the NMPC custody, whereby this money, they refuse to release this money to us to continue into the business. At the same time, they refuse to give us the product. Then one funny thing is about the issue of equalization, just like the Honorable has asked. This equalization has really increased the fuel price in the northern part of Nigeria and other parts of the country. In that removal of subsidy, there was no place allowed, even when we begged them here that you can leave subsidy, we can even do internal equalization. They refused. It will take this house again to see because what this one will create is that many people will lose their work, a lot of businesses will close because uh, in thinking how to still remain in business, we brought CNG. Electric vehicles should not be considered by this committee the only sustainable alternative that matches the purchasing power of a country where 150 million people live in multi-dimensional poverty is compressed natural gas, which is 100% domestic. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.